this tutorial, we'll come into our cam and tool isometric. We'll come to our setup and make sure that our origin is the correct location. But for this one, rather than do the pockets that we've been doing, we're going to use a 2D contour. All we're going to do is take our tool and, as a racetrack, go around this outside edge. I can come up here and select the 2D contour, and I can select the bottom edge of what I want. If I select the bottom edge rather than the top edge, it will already assign my depth. So if I come to there, I can come back and select my tool. We're going to select the same tool that we've been using, the half inch end mill. I can come to my depths tab. It should already be set the way that I want. And again, for right now, you can't typically usually see the bottom one. If you want to ensure that that is where that you want, you can come around again and say selection and you can pick the area that you want that to go to. You can either pick a line, you can pick a corner, or you can pick a face. On the depth tab, I'm going to do it in multiple depths. And I'm going to change this to the quarter inch that we've been doing. This one you'll see does not have a step over because it's just going to go around the part rather than try to do it in multiple steps. So I'm going to leave all of this alone. And I'm going to leave all of this tab alone. I do want to make sure that I don't have a tab that says stock to leave. By default on the contour tab, stock to leave is not there as it is with the 2D pockets. I can select OK. I can see that I have three step downs to create my contours. I will simulate the process. Select play. And what I do want you to notice is the way that the tool is working right now, you have a roll into the part from that lead in. And you can actually see in their tool paths that the tool is going to come down and roll into the part to create the lead ins that we just set the defaults for, or we accept the defaults for.